Go. All right. So, Marina, right. you were talking about uh, eyes wide open, I think. No, I think we had already. A... Yeah, we moved past it. That's we right. moved past that one. Up. Sorry. About yeah, that. you had asked us if it was too early to to comment on the new title of, of the new album, and I said it's way too early. Yeah, we're new. We don't have one. But right uh, now we're more in the phase of, of, of creating the songs and then and yeah, yeah kind of go from there. Just just create as much, see where this goes, see. Yeah, it, it, it kind of always comes in the process. About how many songs do you have? I mean, early, early days, yeah. Um, I think now we are currently working on let's say eight songs now that are very eight, nine something like eight know. nine that have yeah we're already doing vocals for but i think if you if you would look at our drive folder with just instrumental songs it would probably be like 50 or 60 or something it's uh, it's a lot yeah. <laughs> so yeah we try to make as much as possible and then then we um filter the ones we like the most and we're going to work on vocals and that's a bit of the that's a bit of what we're doing now Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do think that uh, with this album, well, we, we're we going to have to work. Uh, I think what we're trying to do here now is, uh, I would say, a little bit a step further than uh, Titanium when it comes to creating something that's little ventured, you know, <laughs> that's not, not many people doing that out there. And uh, so I think we're taking like our extra time to make sure that you know, we have songs that completely work from beginning to the end. Yeah. Not yes. that we didn't do that with Titanium because, but I think uh, that now we're, we're just pushing the bar a bit further. Yeah, we know uh, where we learned last time, yeah. what kind of mistakes we made and then trying to avoid that this time. Yeah. Definitely. She's really forecasting a, um, the, a chart topper. And I oh, like, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really it's, hope so. It's it. It's an ambitious thing for sure. The whole thing about this album, it's quite yeah. ambitious. But uh, we'll slowly release more about that when the <laughs> Good. Good. once the, the when the time comes. Yeah. All right. Before we talk about the European tour, uh, I just want to go back to Wasteland for a minute because um, I kept comparing it to Titanium. And it, that just wasn't fair. And now that yeah. I've had more time to listen to it, um, I really, really love the album. And uh, right. tell us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about how how that album developed. I know we're kind of going back in time, but um, go ahead. All right. So, um, uh, Wasteland again. Very different people writing. The, there's the same premise though, which is something that. Phantom Elite has always been about and funny enough it still is the same premise which is a bunch of musicians where mostly everyone writes or contributes to the writing and um, yeah and then and you can actually you know uh, attach yourself to to what you're creating in in terms of uh passion and wanting to do something new and that that was already the the premise of, of Wasteland back then and uh, because also I think Sander being behind it uh, has something to do with it he's a, a musician who's really about um, yeah he's really encouraging uh, talented musicians to do what they believe in you know, instead of uh, let's make a formula that works and let's just repeat that and it's going to work for sure. You know, he's an extremely talented songwriter. He could write everything for us. We could just record it. And I have nothing against bands that do that. But Phantom Idiot has always been about creating our own stuff from the start. And um, so I think Wasteland was a big experiment and we didn't care much. And um, there were a few people that were writing a bit more. We were five in the band back then even six at some point <laughs> and uh yeah it was the same um, some songs were mainly uh instrumentally written by our guitar uh, keyboard player back then and um i think i wrote all the lyrics and and vocal melodies for everything in that album and uh, it's yeah so but it was basically 
yeah, it was quite the, the teamwork when it came to that as well, you know. I, I definitely love the, the title track and the, uh, uh, the video, the sand uh, video that is excellent. Uh, but I really, I, I, probably my favorite though is Lockdown. That was just <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Which and is the, a little bit prophetic. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about that a little bit? Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, that was a, a total, that one came a little bit from a rehearsal jam, which is a very weird situation because we don't usually write jamming. But sometimes that's the case. And that's what happened with lockdown. And um, yeah, and also the lyrics was something like I just, I, I, I use the term bubble lyrics because, you know, when you're kind of writing melodies, top lines for a song, you're just saying something that comes to your head and sometimes something sticks. And I think at some point I, I had this tear down these walls and then something like lockdown. I was like, okay, lockdown. I'm going to create this imaginary situation where people are separate from their loved ones and they're locked somewhere and there's a lot of insecurity and uncertainty. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a little bit like exactly what we're going through right now, but no, unlucky coincidence. Lucky coincidence. Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, the bonus track, uh, Serenade in the Netherworld, is really an excellent cover uh, from Sander and his yeah. HDK project. Thank you for releasing it. Um, will you have, uh, I mean, I, she has a fantastic voice, and those quiet songs are just wonderful. Do you, will you have maybe something similar to that on the next album? It's really good. Maybe, maybe. It's an idea. We, we are definitely considering exploring more quieter things as well, right? Yeah, I think that's something we did miss a little bit in Titanium was like the one, at least a ballad, uh, because we, yeah, we didn't really have that. And now we are sort of writing some ballads and seeing if it sticks, if it fits with yeah. what we the rest that we do. Yeah. So uh, we yeah we're putting a little bit more focus on something like that too for the for the for yeah the absolutely it's it's uh, it's something that we're actively thinking about although yeah you know whereas in, in titanium we weren't thinking about a ballad I think it was more about what we were you know the 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 vibe and the the feelings and everything we were going through it was all very in your face it was a. <laughs> It was pretty much uh, like, you know, I think the also the name of the album, Titanium, in this thing, we're made of titanium, kind of this slogan came to me really early in the game. And I was like, guys, what do you think of the album name being Titanium? And they were like, cool, it's cool. And yeah. then it just, yeah, that, that yeah. was the whole premise of the album, just being something really strong in your face. <laughs> what about uh, covering any classics and maybe putting out a bonus track. I would love, absolutely love to hear Marina sing Silent Lucidity. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. But uh, maybe that's something that I can do just for fun. You know, I think- uh, Night project, yeah. I think with Phantom Elite, we don't ever really focus on, on covering stuff just because we're so busy with our own ideas. It's, again, it's a luxury problem let's say it's yeah. a luxury situation that we have way so so many ideas that our problem is to filter them you know <laughs> it's a yeah. little bit yeah. that's, that's a nice that's <laughs> a nice gift yeah yeah and yeah. um yeah and i also feel like you know doing covers is something it's for me at least it's like it's exit eden's job <laughs> a little bit you know so i i can have my fun with covers over there and uh, I know that the boys are also not really super keen on, you know, no, making it's covers. Not in the plan. So it could be maybe you don't know. Maybe there's a song you like. Yeah, just make you never know. You never know. Okay. All right. Um, every man for himself has an excellent solo guitar at the end. Uh, that is simply magnificent. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, the boys don't have much to say about it other than uh, Max 
had to play it live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly, I, I am thinking about how did it go again, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't really remember. Um, yeah, and we have silver lining solo in my head right now. <laughs> but it was beautiful. I mean, you had the hard song throughout, and then you, it's it's at the end. It's kind of like making you think about what Marina just said uh, during yeah, the I song itself. It's like that quiet moment here. Now, con we're here, we're giving this to you. Now sit there and contemplate it. That's the way I looked at it. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I think every man for himself is, is probably a, a, one of my favorite songs in the in, on Wasteland. I think it was also, again, we were, you know, different people writing it, but we were trying to make something a little different, which was like something very, you know, very proggy. And then I'm still trying to make like even the, 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 the rhythm and the chorus is not super straightforward, but still, I'm still trying to make it catchy enough so that people yeah. can sing along because that's so important to me, you know, as a yeah, singer sure, and sure. as a, a fan of, you know, the big hits and pop music. And that's just important to me, you know, so that, yeah. So again, um, it's something that we kind of experimented with. And I think that song is like a, is a good example of something that worked out in that album, I think. Yeah. Also, Another Day is another is a song that I, I find very cool for the same reason. In the album. I, was, I was just about to ask about that and rise with the yeah. Dawn. All right, cool. No, yeah, I think um, Rise with the Dawn is, uh, is the most, the proggiest, I guess, yeah. on the wasteland, right? And uh, it's a, it's kind of a, a hard, uh, a hard nut to crack life. We are always, uh, it's always very fun. concentrated to, <laughs> to play that one. <laughs> also singing that in the middle of that noise and having a right intonation is not the easiest. But yeah, that song is also one that I think calls a lot of attention uh, on that album. Not particularly my favorite, but I think it has its uh, always played it live. Yeah, we always played it live, and people always loved it live. So yeah, give the people what they want. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. How much of uh, Wasteland and Titanium will you be allowed to perform on tour with Rhapsody of Fire or the Female Metal League Festival? I think we can perform any like uh, what we want uh, i don't think that no but i mean like I an think, hour half hour uh, five songs ten songs i think it's um, gonna be it's a good like question seven songs uh and and i well the thing is that i uh, what we both realize is that uh, we we talked about this uh of course titanium has all is almost a year old and we still haven't really played anything of it live yet so we really want to focus on titanium um because it's so it's it's still actually super new for us uh, even though it's a year old um so yeah. we're really excited to play titanium songs uh and we might uh okay, yeah. We will, yeah we will make sure that if, well, well what we do in the band is make sure that we all we always have some songs on backup so we can switch around if we like uh, and there's some we have uh, some wasteland songs uh, like sort of prepared, but um, I think for us it's now gonna be like okay we're gonna be fully focusing on titanium, um, still feeling like it's gonna be a new release and playing it uh, will feel completely fresh and new for us too. So uh, so yeah, and um, yeah but yeah the titanium tour we we hope it uh, goes through. It's a, it's a weird uh, time we're living in, and um, there are a lot of things uh, very, yeah, it feels very uncertain. I mean, we, we, we prepared, we really want to, but it's uh, yeah, still with uh, Corona, it's uh, still scary times. Yeah. Uh, that female metal uh, league festival is going to be amazing. Tarja, Marcella Bovio from Mayan, and Lacuna Coil stand out to me. Uh, you guys must be practicing intensely. Yeah, Are there any yeah. people you want to meet that maybe you haven't met yet? Uh, in that festival? Oh, I've, I actually, I, 
I don't know, like Lacuna Coil is a pretty cool band that I think all of us uh, respect. Oh yeah, I, I love Lacuna Coil. I yeah, really we really love it. And like, I, I have met, I met, I bumped into their singer and when I was uh, playing Wacken, but I never like really spoke to them other than love what you do, man. And he was very nice, but that's it. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, but I actually, I'm, I'm excited to meet Everybody, uh, I think I have met Mark Janssen also at Wacken. Oh, Mayan, Mayan. Mayan, uh, yeah. yeah. Who is a cool guy. And um, yeah, I've never met Tadia before. So are we playing the same day as Tadia? I think so. Uh, I'm yeah, not sure. I think she'll be headlining. Yeah. We got Infected Rain, which is a cool band. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, there's some... Uh, yeah, it's really it's gonna be cool meeting all those people. So definitely, since we're uh, very young, we're still young in the game. So uh, every every opportunity, an opportunity like this is still like super new for us all. And it's like Marina has been in the game a bit longer, and I've seen has seen some people. But I think for Yuri and me, it's like everybody is gonna be new. We're just waiting, waiting to play live. Yeah, so you guys are uh, practicing or preparing. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. probably, yeah. We've been practicing for a long time because, um, I mean, we know that we set a high bar with uh, Titanium as a studio album. Yeah, and with the visuals. And the, yes. The whole, the whole shebang. We don't want to disappoint live. So, <laughs> and uh, we are very, I think we are all, if, if the three of us would suffer from, you know, yeah, I mean, being underprepared or overprepared, I think, I mean, we would love to be overprepared <laughs> because we're very, like, we're perfectionists, but it, it's also, it's such a hard, I mean, we're going through such a hard time, Yeah. though everyone is just, you know, it's, it's also not the easiest, you know, sometimes with the uh, lockdown regulations and all sorts of uh, Corona, yeah. and so it's, we also don't want to push to the side of irresponsibility. We don't want to do anything irresponsible while practicing as much as we can. So it's a, it's a tough thing and we definitely want to be super ready, you know, yeah. long story sure. short. Are there other festivals or shows that you'd like to announce yet? And will there be a Phantom Leap Titanium Wasteland tour? And finally, are you coming to America? We would love to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I forgot the first question. <laughs> uh, well, the first one was: Will there be a uh, separate tour where you, it's you guys on your own, and maybe somebody in support? Maybe uh, a headlining uh, tour. Oh, and the festivals. Um, yeah. Okay. So first of all, to the festival because we are going through this. Yep. <laughs> uh, the, the festivals have been scheduled in 2020. They were postponed to the 2021. They were postponed to 2022. Maybe they'll be postponed again. I hope not. Oh, that but yeah. that's a little bit what's been happening. So bands that were booked two years ago are being booked. And um, we got, I think we're extremely honored to have been invited to play at the, this festival, the, the Female Metal League in May. But um, for now, that's actually the only the only spot we have confirmed. And um, yeah, it would be amazing to be able to play more festivals in 2022. But again, that is really a matter of, I think, luck uh, if that would happen, because yeah. it depends on bands canceling last minute and it's been booked. You yeah, know? It's, yeah, it's already been settled before we even yeah. released Titanium. So now yeah. it's yeah, getting a bit of luck and and of course hoping that they're um, uh, all hoping that it all goes through anyway. That's that's uh, it's such an uncertain time now. Um, so yeah, uh, Titanium tour headline tour would be awesome to do. Uh, we don't really have plans for that yet. Could could come uh, once everything is settled down uh, a bit more. And uh, yeah, we would love to come to America. That's uh, I, I know for European bands, it's a tough one to go to America yes. um, because it's uh, it's it's a difficult one. 
um, that's as far as I know, it's a difficult one financially to to uh, make uh, doable. Uh, but I think it's um, if I can speak for anybody and everybody in the band, it's like our dream to to have like a tour and and travel America. It's such a uh, I've only been to New York once, but I would love to travel through America. It's such a beautiful country and to play yeah. shows there. And it's something that if we even get like the smallest chance, I think we would grab it with both ha both hands. And uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, Whenever, it's a matter of time. Yeah. It's a matter there's of time. A big, there's a big uh, prog metal fest in uh, Atlanta. I don't know if they've released their lineup yet, but uh, yeah. power prog, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. That would be awesome. Would oh, be awesome. man. Yeah, that would be amazing. But um, yeah, it's uh, like, yeah, like Max just said, it's a little bit, um, it's complicated for, for European bands, especially, you know, for like, if we're going to be honest and uh, face the numbers, you know, we're growing, but we are not an established band. So that's, that's just, it's, it's yeah, a little so I think it's just a matter of time. It's going to happen at some point. I think yeah. so too, because fun fact is that, I mean, since we know all the statistics about our audience, digitally at least, and uh, it's quite shocking how much of our audience is in the US. It's shocking yeah. because we didn't really put any special promotion or we are not from the US. That's something, it's something a little bit, that is uh, happening organically. Yeah, and that's that's quite fun. I mean, you know, so so that that makes me excited that it's probably going to be sooner than later. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's our most people. streamed country. Yes, it is our most streamed country. It's the U.S. Cool. by far, yeah. which is like, why? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're here in the Netherlands, and Germany. Like, I think Germany might be the second yeah. country, though. So. I think so. It was Sweden or Finland, one of those. Really? Yeah. It was Germany for a while. Anyway. Uh, can... anyway. <laughs> um, all right, let's just talk about side projects. Uh, I know, uh, Marina, you have several already. Anyone else want to talk about all of you? Just go ahead. Yeah, my Max has. Uh... <laughs> it, uh, is in a band that he has now wearing a beanie off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in two bands, and uh, the second one is another now in, on the beanie. Uh, and um, yeah, the, it's, uh, it's a different band with uh, five boys, and uh, we're making uh, some very heavy uh, metal core, death core ish music. I call it uh, cool metal. Cool because metal. Because you guys are just way too cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him that do you have some new uh, music coming out this uh now in 2020 22 yeah definitely <laughs> i think with another now it's way more sporadic there's no label yet uh so we really do everything on our own which also gives us like the the the, the sort of free choices to to do whatever we like and um we've been working on new stuff and uh, with another now it's way more like okay we just release whenever we feel like releasing um but that's definitely gonna happen in 2022 yeah okay. so we're gonna have some new music we released an album last year or this year actually no last year it's one it's one first of january in 2021 we released uh, an album and uh yeah we're gonna just like phantom lead just work uh, work on and release some new cool stuff uh this year probably so you're you're going through the same phase, weirdly enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, both bands are now in the sort of same spot where it's like, okay, we're gonna write a lot of new stuff and then see yeah. uh, what happens. That's so, yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. momentarily just focusing on Phantom Elite. No side projects for me at the moment. Okay. It's at already working. Not out. for my own. <laughs> some, some session work things, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, and me, uh, I, I, uh, the, yeah, <laughs> just everybody knows about Exit Eden, <laughs> and it's a, it's a complicated one to talk about. It's one that people ask a lot, and it's one that I've been answering the same thing for more than a year, which is like, I can't give any concrete answers, <laughs> but um, 
yeah, I hope to have a lot to talk about soon. That's all I can say. All right. <laughs> is there is there anything else that I missed that uh, you guys would want to mention or any spy? You mentioned one little Spinal Tap moment there, but anything you guys want to discuss that I missed or you want to talk about? Um, Yuri Marina, I think we've we've pretty much covered a lot, covered a lot of grounds. Uh, I appreciate your you... time on that. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> um let me think i think i think yeah no there's not i've had for, for me there's not specifically something that i would like to talk about or think is we need to mention or something i don't know if yuri or marina if they have anything no no yeah, i would just say i mean just to to close it up is like i i would we really 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 appreciate you know everybody that's tuning in and enjoying the That's album true. yeah definitely and uh, because i mean i know it sounds absolutely cliche to just thank everybody but it's really true you know especially when you're you know an up-and-coming band uh, not yet established and you're trying so hard to do something new i know that we are like we are just trying to raise the bar at all moments we're you know, joining our creative forces, doing a lot ourselves. And that's just, you know, it, it also gives more satisfaction when people actually enjoy it. That you can yeah, see like, yeah. oh, we're building this with our own hands. Yeah, and it's being appreciated. Yeah, and then it's yeah, being yeah. appreciated. That's just worth so much, you know, that's... Uh, yeah, I also, also want to thank you for that, Mark, just yeah. giving us the opportunity to talk a bit about it and for liking the music. That's so cool. It's actually, it's, yeah. it's, it's, weird. It's, it's still a weird feeling that, that, that this kind of stuff happens, but it's, uh, I, yeah, we, we really appreciate it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's awesome. I, oh, I, I'm sorry. I don't want to put you guys on the spot here, but Mark didn't really ask how uh, we came up with the mid part of Titanium. Oh, uh, do it. Yeah, the title track. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, I, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a fun right. one. Uh, Yuri, you wanna yeah. you wanna start? Yeah. So like we were all scattered for uh, for writing the first first album. We basically either went to to Max's place and then he moved, and then or they went to my place, and then I also moved. And then you so moved. I was always a little bit. Uh, sometimes I went to Max's new place in in, in Tilburg. That is. And uh, we were working on Titanium, which we didn't even know it was going to be called Titanium. But it was a song we we found had potential, but we just couldn't make it work. It was very hard. This was a very I, hard I, one to get to its I final hate shape. It. I yes. hate it. So it was I horrible to make it. I remember that I said once, like, if there's one song that's not going to be on the album, it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, it has no. potential. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I think on, on a Saturday or Friday yeah. evening, I went to, to Max's house and uh, we got a bunch of bears. And we just listened to some music and drank beers. And then we were like, let's let's just go as crazy as we can on this mid part. And just like, let's not think this has to be for Phantom Elite. We're just going to do something yeah, we want to do. I think we also had the rule for ourselves. Every idea we every idea we have, we're going to do. And there's no <laughs> Like, we're not going to say, oh, no, that's maybe too crazy. We're, everything that comes to mind, we're going to put in the song. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we were super drunk. When we <laughs> really and we had a lot of ideas. And then we were like, okay, then it's going to be a very long song. We're just going to yeah. put this in the middle like this, copy paste. Yeah. No, it was yeah. good. And yeah. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't part of it. I wasn't part of it. When I heard it, I was, I didn't know that, you know, the rock and roll party had happened before. And I was like, <laughs> oh this is really good this is good and they yes. were cracking up they were like oh my god we were so drunk <laughs> and i was like yeah guys but that's you know that's real talent look at that i it think yeah i can idea. remember that we woke up and they were like oh it doesn't actually sound that bad <laughs> <laughs> no it doesn't <laughs> yeah it well really that's i think that's the too. most the most rock and roll part of music that has been written on this album for the rest it's, it's it was extremely sober with coffee with yeah. coffee lots of coffee yeah, yeah. <laughs> well guys i want to really thank you thank you family for taking the time uh to discuss thank this you. past year and the future and 
all that you guys have accomplished so far. It's been fantastic. I'm looking forward to everything you're going to do in 2022. Happy New Year. And uh, thank you again from the progressiverockcentral.com. Um, thank you so much, too. can you say? You, you guys are just dynamite. Keep it. No, you're titanium. Keep it going. <laughs> thank you so much, too. You yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Hope uh, hope to talk soon. Uh, maybe uh, maybe on tour or maybe uh, in the next uh, interview when we have a, a new stuff. Uh, yeah, I'd on. be happy to awesome. do another one. Yeah, it will be awesome. All right. Well, hold on. I'm going to stop the recording and then we'll talk just a little bit here. Uh, cool. Thanks again. Really, thank you guys. Thank you.